Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Deuteronomy chapter 4, the second verse. And the word of God reads this way. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. In this fourth chapter, in the second verse, Moses is giving a serious warning to the nation of Israel. He's saying, you shall not add unto the word which I command you. He's telling Israel not to add to the word of God. Why don't you, uh, why aren't you supposed to not add to the word of God? Because the word of God is perfect. You don't add to perfection. If you're adding to it, what you're saying is it's incomplete and it needs something added on. Then he says, neither shall you diminish aught from it. So he's saying you shouldn't take away from it. Why shouldn't you take away from the word of God? Because if you take away from it, what you're saying is God's word isn't perfect. There's something wrong with it and you need to take it away. And then it says that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Notice he says that you may keep the commandments of God. If you take away from the word of God or add to the word of God, you are not going to keep the commandments of the God because commandments of God because you think God's commandments are faulty. Adding to it or taking away from it basically says you don't believe God's word. You don't believe it's truth. You don't believe it's inerrant. You need to add to it or take away from it. And you're not going to keep it if you're going to do those two things. And notice it says, keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Moses, as a, a man of God, is commanding them because God is commanding them. Dear Christian, we see these warnings throughout Scripture. In fact, in Revelation chapter uh, 22, verses 18 and 19, we see the same warnings. You shall not add to the word of God. You shall not take away from the word of God. You can't add to perfection and you can't take away from perfection. If you think you can add to the word of God, what you're going to have is syncretism. Like uh, Paul was warning the church in Colossae. They were adding all kinds of things to the word of God, philosophies and all kinds of things because they thought that the word of God wasn't sufficient. But then you can take away from the word of God. And um, our president way back in the past, Thomas Jefferson did that. He did not like the deity of Christ. He wanted to keep the laws of God, but he didn't believe that Jesus Christ was deity. So he literally took a razor and cut that out. He took away from the word of God. We're not to do either one. Anytime we do either one, what we're basically saying is God's word is not perfect God's word is not true and God's word is not inerrant and as Christians we don't ever need to do that and we can't let the unbeliever do it as well so this is Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2 just wanted to do a quick look to encourage you Christian but also to warn you please don't ever think you need to add to the word of God or take away from the word of God either one is equally dangerous and the word of God warns against it as always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, remember, the Word of God is perfect, and it's going to warn you about adding or subtracting from it. Moses was telling the nation of Israel this. They had to learn this lesson. And you know what? Today as Christians, we need to heed that lesson because if we don't, we're treading on dangerous ground. And as Christians, we do not want to do that. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching and God bless.